On a sunny afternoon, 42-year-old Wendy Kenny clipped zinnias in her front yard, finally free of the worries that have plagued her for 33 years. Well, I think the world is mine now. <laughs> I can do anything now without the worry. Diagnosed at age 9 with type 1 or juvenile onset diabetes, Wendy spent most of her life battling the condition in which the pancreas no longer produces insulin. Daily insulin injections are a must, but even so, it is difficult to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. Five months ago, Wendy underwent a life-changing procedure at Emory University Hospital. She was transplanted with hundreds of thousands of new islet cells to restore the proper functioning of her pancreas. Dr. Christian Larson, director of Emory's Transplant Center, performed the operation. The procedure of islet transplantation is to, to get an organ from a cadaver donor, an organ donor, um, to isolate or purify the cells that make uh, insulin. That's a, that's a fairly extensive process that involves a team of five or six people working for uh, better, the better part of 10 hours. If we are successful and get enough islets that make our release criteria and can be transplanted, they're infused into a vein that goes into the liver. The cells then make their way from the liver to the pancreas during a 10-minute infusion process. Wendy was the first patient in the state of Georgia to receive an islet cell transplant. Since then, three other patients have been transplanted at Emory, and doctors say the potential of this new procedure is limited only by the number of compatible donors. Wendy's new islet cells began working immediately, and her insulin drip was turned off less than four hours after she was transplanted. I had a lot of tears. <laughs> Happy tears, good tears, but yeah. I, I think it was beyond expectations. I would consider myself an ex-diabetic. Like all transplant patients, Wendy must take anti-rejection drugs for the rest of her life. But Wendy says the trade-off is worth it. For Emory University, this is Rhonda Rowland reporting.